Good morning. Our entrance antiphon. Behold, a wise woman who has built her house. She feared the Lord and walked in the right path. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today the church remembers St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She holds the distinction of being the first native-born uh, American to become a saint. And her, she founded a religious community. She was married and she, after her husband's death, she founded a religious community. So Seton Hospital is named after her um, out here in Daly City. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we begin acknowledging our faults and failures and asking the Lord for the graces we'll need to walk in his, ho in his holy ways. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, Grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory to his to him, his holy arm. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity.
In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, from today's first reading, it was a letter by the author to a community that seemed to have been hurting because there were divisions and some had left the church. And so the author tried to ease the pain of those who remain. He used two themes to talk to them. One was about light and the other about love. So in the past couple of days, we heard about the theme of light. So God is a God of light. Just as light and darkness cannot mix, so neither can we who are children of light. Those who have left the community have chosen a different path. But he warns that it's not so clear that simply because those who remain are the ones in the light. He was teaching them that there's a clear way to determine who's a child of the light and who's a child of the devil. And that is the one who acts in love. So even those who have hurt us, we must be patient with them and we must love them. Ultimately, that's the true test of whether we are children of light or of darkness. Now, the saint that the church remembers today, St. Elizabeth Seton, was one who suffered rejection by her husband's family. Yet she did not allow that to determine her life. She chose instead to love and allowed the love of God to flourish in her heart. And because of that, after her husband's death, she founded not only schools to educate poor children, but also hospitals and a community to help care for the weak members of society. So she uh, began the Daughters of Charity. So may her example this day inspire us also to continue to live as children of light, to be loving and patient, even with those who have hurt us. Let us pray. Let us pray then for the religious community founded by Elizabeth Seton, the Daughters of Charity, that on their feast day, God may continue to inspire them and bless the work of their hands. We pray to the Lord. 
for the new members of Congress who took office yesterday, for all our elected leaders that they may find ways to work in harmony for the good of our nation and all peoples. We pray to the Lord. For peace in our troubled world, for all victims of war and violence, especially the people of Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and those whom we have promised our prayers, we remember Charlie Cunningham, Elisa Rigdon, Mary Schmaltz, and Brian Bat. For them, for all in need of God's healing grace, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Sao Wen Cheng and also for Barbara. So for them, for all who have died and all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. And for your intentions. And so for all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we entrust our worries. In your goodness, hear us and grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth and Seton, and grant by the power at work in the sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and cast strain, and call strain humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy dear for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Selwyn Chang, Barbara, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With one heart and one faith together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Mm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion antiphon. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth and Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with the burning desire for the heavenly table and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Stay dry and don't get blown away. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. <laughs>